Hey, what's up guys? This is JY Smart Tech here again. And today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit more different than the usual. I'll be explaining to you guys about an accessible design on an interface or modern technology that many people use nowadays, which is Venmo. I'm gonna be talking about the overview of what Venmo is, and then we're gonna imagine what the interface would have been like if it existed in the 80s and in the 90s. So now let's quickly jump into it. So to start off, Venmo is a mobile payment service that allows its users to transfer funds to others via a mobile phone app. It works by linking either your bank account or a credit or a debit card to make transaction within other users. If you see right here, here's the diagram of what Venmo is like. Um, and Venmo can also provide easier ways to make, make and share payments by using Venmo credits and directly paying from your bank account or your card. After receiving Venmo credits, the, the user can move their Venmo balance into their bank account in which it uses encryption systems for the security of fund transactions and app data. With the information technology in our modern society, Venmo provides a safe way for users to transfer money to and from each other. And now I'd like to discuss how Venmo would look, look like in the 80s and 90s without the fast and easy technology. And here is the website that I've made with hacks and I'll be showing you guys what Venmo is like in the 80s. Um, Venmo would be a payment program that would first need to be installed to the working computer in which a command line interface would be used for creating an account for the users. This action would require making the ID and password for the users. And after setting up the Venmo account, users can also select which bank account that they are linking to their account. As people back then did not use much of credit cards back then, it'd be most it'd be mostly only the bank account numbers that were needed for the information. After the account has been created, the user would have to put the user ID and bank account number of the person that they want to transfer the money to in the command line. This has to be done manually and would take a while because highly accessible internet was not a thing back then. The user can then enter the amount in the command that they want to send and hit the send button to finish the process. This process would work very well in the 80s because back then it was a very tedious process to just send funds to each other. Um, on the other hand, 90s are a little bit more different and advanced in terms of the user interface. So we can go directly into the Venmo in the 90s. As time moved forward, the simple process of using the command line interface will decrease as the development of the World Wide Web becomes a very useful source of information. Venmo accounts will gain access to the internet and have the ability to go into the website and make an account that links the Venmo account with the banking account. The users will have to manually put the user ID and the bank account that they are sending it to because a new interface lets users process payment service much faster with the new internet service. The user will be then able to easily access the Venmo platform by creating and the account faster and being able to access a wider variety of features that can utilize as with their several buttons and the images that they have. And it can tell the users know more about what they do. The user can also use a search bar that, to help find other users that they wanna transfer money to and from them. And here's an example of the World Wide Web from the 90s. And after the user has successfully transferred the funds with other users, the 90s Venmo will notify the user with the confirmation page, which can be stored in the computer for user preference. With the help of the creation of the internet, the Venmo service is much more focused on the user interface compared to the one in the 80s. Although because it is a beginning stage of the development of the internet, it will take a much longer time to process the payment and might take a while to complete the payment process within Venmo. So this was a basic walkthrough of accessible design and how Venmo would have looked like in the 80s and in the 90s. 
Thank you for watching and remember to like the video and subscribe to JY Smart Tech. Thank you.